Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Learn with Sahira. In this video, we are going to see the syllabus as well as the important topics for the subject programming with C and C++ which is for degree second semester students of computer applications. If you are a student of degree first year, in your second semester, if you are having a subject called programming with C and C++, then this video is going to be really very useful for you. Because it is really very important to know about the lessons, uh, to know about the units, syllabus and the important concepts so that you can start your preparations easily. So before starting your preparation for examination, this video is going to be really very helpful for you. Watch the video till end. I am going to show you the syllabus as well as the important concepts to be covered or important topics to be studied for your examination. I think you all know that this is only for BCom computer applications or BCom computer students. Okay, this subject is only for those students. So no need to waste your time. If you are from any other group, no need to watch this video. Only BCom computer application students should watch this video. Okay, so in your less, uh, in your subject programming with C and C++, you are having five units. You can see on the screen, unit number one, introduction. Unit number two, conditional statements. Unit number three, functions. Unit number four, structures. And unit number five, classes and objects. Okay, so these are the five units from your pro programming with C and C++ subject. So let us go in deep with each and every unit. Unit number one is uh, introduction to uh, programming with C. Okay, so C language. Uh, here we will be learning about the flow charts and algorithm and history of C language. History of C language is really very important. Most of the times they will ask this question. So be perfect with history of C and basic structure programming rules also you have to be perfect and you have to be perfect with the functions okay what are the different functions you have to be perfect like uh, library functions will be there keywords and identifiers will be there variables will be there data types will be there operators will be there uh, operators you have already learned in your semester one so uh, no need to uh, worry about this operators operators and data types already you have learned in your semester one examination semester one subject so data types and operators are already studied topics you need to just go with history of c library functions keywords and identifiers variables from unit number one so these are the topics you need to be perfect with from unit number one i will be uploading explanation videos and important question videos also no need to worry about preparations okay Unit number two, it is conditional statements. You have to be perfect with if, uh, if else, uh, nested if else, uh, and break statement, uh, continue, exit, uh, go to statement, switch statement. So all of these statements you have to be perfect with. And also you are having looping statements like while, uh, do while, uh, for statements, nest, uh, nested loop statements. So you have to be perfect with all the statements okay conditional statements and looping statements will be covered from unit number two these are really very easy uh, you just need to understand the concept just to give a reading and have a look at the programs also and from unit number three it is functions you have to uh, write uh, whatever the functions they will give you okay user defined functions will be there or else built-in functions will be there so you have to be perfect with the definition or meaning of functions how many types are there two types are there one is built-in functions one is user defined functions built-in functions means already they will be giving you built-in functions means already they will be giving you but uh, user defined means you will be defining or you will be making the functions strings will be given strings uh, strings means what it is it will not be in numerical strings means uh, number of words like features of pointers is string okay declaration of pointers is a string it is categorical okay categorical uh, value it is not a regression or it is not a numerical value it will be categorical value and strings are defined in uh, uh, quote, uh, quotations yes or no so in unit number three you have to be perfect with types uh, types of functions strings and pointers also so i will be uploading explanation video so no need to worry structures from unit number four features of structures you have to be perfect with what are unions what is object oriented programming here you will be having c and c plus plus okay till now we will be we were learning about c here you will be having c plus plus language also so here you have to be perfect with structures unions or object oriented programming 
and uh, introduction to C and C++. From unit number 5, you will be having classes and objects. Here, you will be having object-oriented class, object uh, encapsulation, all this. So, you have to be perfect with all these topics. And uh, no need to worry, I am going to upload explanation videos also. If you are having any further doubts, let me know in the comment section. See you all in the next video. Bye-bye.